Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and now we've sorted through a couple of big stacks of journal pages. And these are the ones that we're going to cut up and reuse um, to make some art cards. And here's a couple that we made a couple weeks ago. And we start, you can either start with a blank white little card. My cards are three by four. This is the size of an ATC. An ATC is two and a half by three and a half. And my art cards are three by four. And um, so it just little bits of collage, paint, and uh, yeah. So these are, this is, I just want to show you the size. And then also uh, postcard size, which is four by six. So I've got a stack of old art journal pages that I'm going to reuse. They, from Deconstructed Art Journal. Oh, well, I already did a flip through that. We spent almost an hour flipping through old art journal pages. So now I've got my cutter right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I eyeball it, but if you want to make sure you get an exact area for an art card, 3x4 or 4x6, you can measure. I just kind of eyeball it. So like I'm going to trim off this excess here. Let's go a little bit. And then I'll turn it around and measure, you know, three here. And I'm, I'm not being very real particular about these because they are going to get, you know, painted over, recollaged, um, you know, whatever. So I kind of want to keep that Egyptian in there, right there. So I might just start, like, just trim off the edge. And I don't, you know, this stuff can be used for collage fodder. I don't really save it much. Did I get that three? Yeah. And then by four. So like that. So we got something to work with. Something like that. Then you have little bits like this, which that works for me too. Because I'll read I, that could be a that could be a landscape there. It could be it can be a lot of different things, right? So it doesn't have to have a focal point on the card itself for me to find something in there. All right, so I'm just going to kind of keep working here. Maybe we'll do this one a four by six, four by. Let's see. I kind of want some of that up there. So again, I'll just kind of mess with where what part I want to cut out. Like I might want some of that, so I'll turn that around and then trim off the other end to make it four by six. And I don't keep most of this. I mean, it's just I might I might keep a bit of something like this. But I don't keep every little scrap. I, there's no way. You just saw how much deconstructed just journal pages I have, let alone try to keep little scraps like that. All right. So there's a little cartouche right there and a tree. So maybe we'll go with that. So I'll just trim them all down. This one has got a lot of layers to it because some stuff was done on the back. So let's go. I don't want that little border there. Let me trim that border off. And uh, I'm going to be going quick, guys. I'm just going to trim, trim, trim here. Into some. And I'm just constantly slipping them back and forth to find the, find the area I want to keep. If you have any questions, put them in caps. ASMR cutter sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I keep saying I'm gonna do an ASMR video. I haven't yet. Okay, I like this. Let's trim this one down. Again, this one's kind of thick because it's double-sided on the art journal. So, and I paint the backs black anyway on my art cards. So do I want any of this? Okay, maybe. So I'm just going to continuously cut all this stack down. Well, we'll see how long it takes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my shows about an hour so that... All right, maybe we'll get a couple of four by sixes out of this one. This one's got a little crusty edge where we tore it out of the art journal. So let's trim off that crusty edge and trim this down to four by six. So there's one. That'll be a good one right there. It's half done. 
you know, from the art journal. And then this one will trim down to a 3 by 4 Let's see what section I want to keep. I kind of want this section. Is it 4 inches? Yeah. All right, so I think I'll trim off that edge. And I like that. Okay. Again, let's just trim off where I think this is something I did in 2013. Let's really trim, trim that off. Let's see, let's make this four inches wide. And six. Not that one. <laughs> oh no, not that one. Polly, you, you missed. I, w I literally had like this much that I went through. Art journal pages. It's not like... <laughs> It's not like I'm going to run out of anything, seriously. Let's see, I kind of want that edge right there. Let's go with three, five, four. I'm going to trim a little off of there and a little off the top. <laughs> oh, no! Not that one! All right, what about this one, Paula? Can we cut up this one? Oh, I like the other side better. I actually like this side, all the coral. We'll do a couple of four by sixes. Okay, again, I'm going to trim the edge where I ripped it out of a, I mean, deconstructed it out of an art journal. And then let's go with, uh, let's go with this way here. Let's get a couple of four by sixes out of this. So let's, I'm going to trim some of that top off there. So I just eyeball it, you know, and kind of pick out the areas that I want to make a card out of. See, look, there's a whole world right there. Let's see, is that one big enough for a 4 by 6 Let's trim a little bit of the edge out Oh, it's exactly 4 by 6 So there's another one. Kind of like the back side, though better almost although that has a little fish in it I have to use that little fish even though personally I like this side better <laughs> I see more um, possibilities in this but I like that little fish too all right so let's go on to this one let's see hmm. I think we'll go with some three by fours on this one so Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Just, uh... Okay, I like that side better. No, I like that side. Okay. Hey, Judy Patootie. Anybody else popping in? Anita? Alright, some just have bits on them. Like, I like that waterfall here, and then I like this little bit over here. So let's go ahead and cut down a uh, three, let's give me a little X extra on the edge. More little undersea type bits. No, like that. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this one. It's kind of like this area right there. So let's go ahead and go with maybe a 4 by 6 here. And again, we're not going to use all these today, obviously. But I wanted to pick a stack out just to cut up so you can see. But let me be a little bit more selective so we have time. Go with that one. Maybe this bit and that bit. Here's just some random scraped paint. We'll go with that. Oh, this is the one I really was thinking of. I really like that page. And a little bit of this. Okay, so I think we'll go with those. Let's put those aside. Pick and choose out of these last five. Cut up five more. <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, a little bit past four, just so I can have room to trim both sides. 
So just kind of go back and forth. Turn that off. Make these four by six. Actually, I think I want them three by four. So let's go ahead and cut these out to three. little set to play with. They're all pretty things. Yeah, they're fun. All right, this one. I just liked all the bits. Like, all right, let me trim off this edge here. And we'll do this on a postcard size. So let's cut four. Now i got to be judicial in selecting which section I want. I think I want this. Go a little farther this way and then this way. See? Not that. It can go this way, it can go that way, it can go this way. And we're going to do collage on it too. So we'll go with that. Then, let's see. I think I'll trim off this edge. And we'll do some three by fours right in there. Let's see. Don't have any questions, just holla. Let's do a four by six on this one. I like to see a whole landscape thing going on right there. Let's trim this down to four. Anyway, I hope y'all kind of get some ideas from cutting up. Got three more here. This one's not really going to matter too much because it's just random white paint. So I'll trim off the edge. And we'll do some uh, four. And these are on just paper, so I, these will have to get glued onto a, a cardstock because this is literally just paper. But you know, it's no biggie to glue them onto a piece of cardstock. Okay, and then this one, let's see here, let's do a three. Trim and some four. So does this make y'all want to go and cut things up? <laughs> uh. All right, let's see. I want this bit here. Turn this one into a four by six. I want a, I want a bit of this. So let's go in here with turn that off. Turn this off. Let's go this way. Not yet. <laughs> You're not in the mood to cut anything down yet. Okay. You will be when we start working on cards. Okay, last one. Last one. I do want the, some of this. So let's trim. How much more can I 
get in there. Alright, can I get a three by four out of this? Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. We got them all cut down. Well, we got a stack of them, a few of them. We got a few of them cut down anyway. All right. So now we're going to start. We'll pick a couple things we want to use out of each one. And um, I'll zoom in as we work on them. All right. If I could rename yourself Crusty Bits. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, you girls. All right, so I'm just going to kind of look through here and see which ones I want to. I'm going to do like eight. That's, that's about all that we can, uh, we can squeeze in. Maybe, I don't know, eight or ten. Okay, I froze for a second, guys. It'll be back in just a minute, like that one this way. I don't want them all the same, though. I want to do some different ones. So like this one. I think we can try to squeeze in. I mean, because I got to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And the only thing about doing different color combinations is it takes a while because I have to redo colors. So maybe I'll do two waves. Maybe I'll do a set with these colors kind of like these colors then I'll do another set with other colors because it's just easier if, if you have out all sort of the same colors on your palette just to make it easier like this one should go with that one this one can go with these colors here the Egyptian ones can kind of go with that color okay so if we go with the, these brighter ones then we can get in Let's do four small ones and two four by six. This one's already kind of almost done. Oh, I like it. Let's fit. Maybe we finish up this one. Kind of like it either way. Could go either way. Oh, I love this one. And I love this one, too. That will be on another set. There's the fishy one. Maybe we'll go with the fish. Oh, no. this. Well, let's go with those. Okay. I've picked up picked the ones we're going to go with right now. We're going to work on these. All right. So I'm going to zoom in, and then I'm going to start pulling some other collage fodder bits. And we'll go with that. All right. Let me zoom in. I think that's good enough. Let's refocus. <clears throat> May not need my sherry card, but okay. So we're gonna work on these. Is that too dark, guys? It's a little, a little dark. I don't want to get it flashed out, but. How's that look? I'll let somebody tell me when the chat lag catches up. <clears throat> you would have inspiration word and call them done these. <laughs> uh, they, is it look all right, guys? Is it looking focused enough? I hope. All right, so now I think I'm going to get my, I got to, you know, fold up the collage stuff. Oh, 
grab a stack and got a couple books over here. I don't know, I like these, this tiger book, but I think the tiger, this is going to have to be used on bigger bits. I have this tiger book from Kelly. She said to use it for collage, but they're, they're kind of, they're big, see? So, I might have to wait on this for actual art journal pages. They're too big. Find a couple. Let me dig around. I mean, let me keep flipping. See if I can find a couple small tigers. Tigers would be good if they if I can get them to fit. Oh, I like that one. Okay. There's that one. There's one. Let's see. Maybe we can make them all kind of colorful tiger pages. Well, I don't know if we can do them all because I don't think I have enough tigers. But I'm flipping. I'm flipping. The tigers would also be good on these Egyptian ones. <gasps> yeah. Where's those? Like this one? Maybe I'll do two sets. We'll see how much time we have. Where's the Egyptian ones? Oh, they're small. Here we go. Oh. It looks a bit out of focus. Okay, I'll refocus here in a second. This. These Egyptian ones would be good to have a tiger on. So I got this stack here. That can be the next stack. You know, like this tiger face. Okay, so let's separate those, that stack out. Right. I want to use him. I mean, I'll fussy cut him out more but he would be good on like this. I'm gonna just take a quick second to cut him out now that I'm inspired by him. So I'm already inspired by this tiger. Trina? All right, let me see here. I need a gold, kind of a gold. Something. Ooh, that one would work like work. All right, so if we did something like this. Come on, guys, I know I'm not on camera. But if we had him like this, somehow on here, you know, the tree at the bottom. Ooh, yeah. set him aside. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set the tigers on the side because I'd want to use those on these darker colors. All right, now let me get my folder here of all kinds of, all kinds of, again, this one will be good too on the browns. All right, let's go with this stack here for the next segment. I always do browns and, uh, you know, those colors. So I'm trying to do some brights today. So I got my big, you know, one of my stacks of collage bits. And we're going to try to lay out something here. All right, let's see if we can refocus, guys. Maybe if I zoom out one, let's see. Well, no, then you won't be able to see. Let's just focus. There's my sherry card. Everything focuses with that. I don't know why. It's make a wish. It always works. Is that better? I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to flip through. Like, oh, look at these tulips in this tree. 
I like that little graveyard too. I like this. I like that little bit of I don't know. Let's see. Mm, it's got the wrong. I think that one, this needs to go over here on this. See, I'm finding a lot of things to match all the other cards. Here's some tulips. Now that, that'll work. And it's better if you can tear as much as you can because then when you go to do the painting part, um, when you go to paint, it will um, blend better. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just tear some things out for a minute. And then we'll see what I can wanna use. So any questions? Put it in caps. Oh I like this bit of uh, uh I like both the sides. Okay, got to save that to the side. Okay, I'll find, I'll, don't worry, I'll find some stuff. Yeah, I have a, that, a Japanese book too. I was just reminded of little uh, care, Japanese, um, but I think they're more paintings. The Japanese book has paintings. And I'm trying to go with images. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I like this little boat. Okay, here's here's a boat. What is a boat? Cities. I like these ships. A little bit of boat. I think would be good. Let's cut that out. All right, I'm just gonna make a stack over here of images that I might want. If y'all any questions? Just holla. I'm just sorting. Sorting out some uh, things I might want to use, may or may not. Flipping, flipping through collage bits. Okay, here's some city bits like windows and buildings. So let's go with a little bit of that. I like this one. Might use a little bit of that. There's a door and a window. I like that. <clears throat> Let's see. Another bit of window. I'm just getting some different little bits of architecture because of the, I'm I'm feeling it because of the color. The colors are working for me. Maybe y'all are working on something. Maybe you're just gabbing. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> I need some watch bits. Hmm, there's another bit of a ship. It's it's just digging through collage bits and finding things that I love. Oh, I like this. I, like, I love rocks. Rocks and mountains and this kind of thing. That just always works. Bit of that. I'm trying to have a variety. So I'm gonna get some rocks, some I don't know. I, I, like I said, I don't put people in very often. Everybody likes it when I put people in there. I don't know, maybe we'll do a couple of people. If I flip through here and find some people. <laughs> some ruins that always works good especially since these are going to look like they're underwater so some ruins would be good 
Y'all still with me? I know it's I'm kind of off camera just searching for a minute. But it's part of the process. So you can see it takes a while. Oh, there's some steps. There's a little bit of a pagoda. Ooh, I'm loving these. These Chinese ruins. This is a deer head. Hmm. Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, there's just so much you can put in a collage. I'm liking these little, little. Uh, I don't know if they're monks, but look how that looks cool right there with the face. I'm gonna pair them. I'm gonna put these guys in in here somewhere, along with maybe one of these other little bits of door, something like that. So we found some some people. <laughs> okay, hang on, guys. My chat unleashed itself. You're digging the ruins. Yeah, you're digging the ruins. <laughs> Good one, Queenie. Okay. Let's see. There's some cactus. More buildings. I'm just kind of flipping through, guys. Mm. I love anything, like even just little bits of mechanical stuff. Love all that. Just bits of stuff here. I'm not sure what that is, but I like the colors. There's some more something with color. Hmm, there's a bit of a watch. And this, I love that. That needs to go with the other. Some more watches. Oh, look, there's a cool gate. Hmm, I think I got into the mother load of stuff to use. Another watch. Another watch bit. I just need, I think I'll find some people. Or something alive like a bird or you know anything alive there's some greenery okay let me dig out a couple more watch bits and maybe there's some jewelry in here ah oh, all kinds of goodness in here i forgot about all right let's get a couple any more buildings right, let's go ahead and get a couple of people and a couple of watches all right so in the japanese book this one's got but they're kind of like paintings i don't know that i want to use these people. I mean, they'd be good, but I don't know that they are going to they have the bright colors. I have to fussy paint them or fussy cut them out, I think, so that the backgrounds wouldn't be part of it. Oh, I think I'll wait on that one. Okay, so I have to fussy cut. All right, let me see. Um, few birds cut out here. I don't know if we'll use any of those. I have a pile of stuff on the floor now. All right, a couple of watches. Oh, this is a good one. It's got red and blue. That'll be a nice one. I'm just picking some items, guys. So just so you can see, it does take a while if you want to start from scratch. I always like these watches that have the moon dial. Let's put that one off the top there. All right, I think I have enough. All right, so now let's see if any of this works. Okay, we're ready to start. <laughs> we're ready to begin. So 
Okay. So, this is where I just got to kind of get in the zone for a minute and create some little worlds. Let's get my camera straight out. Let's see here. So we got these two large ones and these four three by fours. All right. Any questions? Sip a coffee. Okay. I'm liking this little crane. See, I fussy cut some of these out. I don't even know when. So I have a few little birds that we can work with. parrot head. <laughs> the fog use that's a little big. A little swan. That might be a good one in here. Just random. They're just play. I'm just playing. Okay, I like that swan with that fish. That works for me. I'm just gonna kind of play around. Here's a flying. Like the crane, yeah. Just where's my scissors? I think I'll cut this one in half. I like this blue and red watch bit, and the other half, and I don't know if I want to use this boat, it might work. I don't know, I'm not feeling the boat. Now that I want the birds, okay, I do like this bit of watch that has the moon dial. Those three. I like, where's my little uh, Chinese guys in the ruins? This guy is these. I like that. But I also like that fa those faces right there. That might have to go on this other grayer card. But I like them because they're dressed in orange. The poor bird has unsightly afro. <laughs> I'm liking them right there. In that mountain. We'll paint them in. We'll paint them in. All right. So some of these gray colors, we'll put them aside. And these make good uh, arches, too. I don't know if I can use one right now, but just so you can see, the watch uh, rings make good little cave entrances. They're really, they're really cool to do that with. I don't have a lot of space on any of these much. This is kind of, you know, needs to be on a four by six. I don't really want it on them, but. These are good, <clears throat> but I need silver ones with that one. So let's see here. I'm not going to use the ship. All right, let's keep rolling here. I kind of like these tulips. These two tulips. I think I'll have that crane coming out of that one. Something like this, maybe. Right on the edge. And again, don't be afraid to have them go off the edge. You can always trim. This bird's kind of freaking me out. It reminds me of the movie The Birds. Kind of mags. Oh, I'll use any kind of magazines. Any. Any magazine. Okay, I'm liking this bit, but again, the colors, maybe this can go, it looks like lightning, I'm liking that. But I don't know, I love, I love that paint right there, but I really love this too. See, sometimes I get, try to get too much, 
in one thing, especially when I'm starting with the background. You know, a lot of most of the time I'm not starting. I'm starting with a white card, right? <laughs> I mean, I love that together, but I, I want to keep that mountain, so I better not use that. Same for this. This will go with that Egyptian one. Let's see. A little bit of architecture, a little drawer. Okay, I like this. I like that. I'm trying to keep up with you guys too. Do I want this one? I think I want. Yeah, magazines, calendar pages. And then what I'm doing, guys, I used to do it a lot. Um, it's going to get lost in there. It's too dark. Um, I used to do it more was to... Sorry, guys, I'm kind of thinking. <clears throat> use these art cards to make paintings from. And I've shown you all some of those. I haven't done it in a w much lately because I don't have time however I have been um, starting to do it again I'll show you what I'm working on well remember this card we did a couple weeks ago maybe <coughs> so here's the card that we made a couple weeks ago and now I'm turning it into a painting so this is as far as I got so far. So just kind of halfway done. But that's kind of, where's my other ones here? I'll show you a couple other ones. I don't have all the cards for these because I've given the cards away, but I'm working on smaller paintings. Here's some of the, here's some of the little five, these are five by seven paintings that I, <clears throat> Now, this is no collage. This is all paint. <coughs> Hang on, get a sip of coffee. That I paint based on the cards. Okay? So, um, yeah. These are some of the little ones I've done. <coughs> I used to do larger ones, like big paintings. But I just don't have the time to do that, those big ones anymore. So here's some of the small ones. So there's a few of the paintings. Okay, and let's get back to this. Uh oh, did something blow away? I think, well, I should, I have to remember when I turn the fan, I mean, when I turn my chair, <clears throat> I'm kind of liking that better than the, than the tulips. I think I'm going to go with that. Do I want that one or I think I want this one? So I think we'll go with that. Like the butterfly? All right, yeah, I think I'll wait on the tulips. Got another little door. Just kind of playing around here, guys. And then things like this can be used too. I mean, the, the you know, negative space, I'm, it needs to be on a bigger one though, but you know, sometimes you can use those. Um, this blue needs to go with that blue. Go in a little bit of this, the mechanics of this watch. I want on, on there. I'm going to trim it down a little more. Just the littlest things you can really use. they're small. 
they already look good thanks guys we're getting there I know it takes a while and I just you know it takes as long as it takes so I'll at least get to the part where I glue these down and then we'll probably do another segment where I'm painting them you know doing the details it just takes a while that's just all there is to it that's just all there is to it it takes a while all right this needs a little bit of a watch bit or something kind of mechanical under there I think I like that a little bit it's just like a little puzzle it's like a little puzzle for me it's like a little puzzle just like that little fish because you remember these are already left over bits of my art cards already all right so this has got all kinds of colory things in it even if it's just a little extra even if it's just a little extra something to paint in Although I'm just liking the way this landscape's working. Hmm. I just might be trying to add too much that I don't need to. It's looking, it's looking, you know, pretty finished as it is. All right. Um, go around this little bit of watch here. Maybe down here. I think I'll paint that in right there with the crane. All right. Let me look over each one a second. I know it's tiny, guys. I'll zoom in a little bit more. You need to get cracking on your... Yeah, you got... If anybody's that signed up for the uh, Art Journal color book swap thing, you got till the August 20th to get it to me. August 20th. Okay, I think everybody does. Okay, I'm going to stop now. i got bits over here ready for the next one. I do love this, though. I love me some arches. I think I'm going to have to work that in there. That, 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 and the crane head on top. Something like that. Hey, Vicky S. Hey, Vicky BR. All right. I guess I won't need any more birds. I have, you know, calendar pages here, stacks of birds. I think I don't need any more. Let's see. I'm liking that one just as a landscape, and then these got some birds in them. This might need something else down along the bottom. Because it is, well, maybe I'll just paint something in. I don't know. Let's look at this. Yeah, it's going to get too busy. Okay, we'll just go with that. Oh, there's that little yelling bird. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get out my matte medium. Hang on, guys. Oh, and I did buy some of this. Because I got it had a, like, 60% off coupon. Y'all know I usually use the um, Delta Ceram Coat. Hang on. Oh, I'm rolling over scraps of paper. Let's do a little pick up here. Y'all know I usually use this Delta Ceram. This is what I varnish my cards with. The Delta Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. And that's what I varnish my cards with. Here you can see. See the varnish. Gloss varnish. But this is on sale. 
Now, I'm not one for spray stuff. Like, I don't like fixatives. I don't like spray glue or any of that. But because this was Windsor & Newton gloss varnish, and I got it for, it's regularly $13, I think. I think I got it for 5 bucks. I said, I'm going to try this. So, I haven't even opened it yet, guys. See, it's still got the seal on it. So, I thought I'd try this. We'll see. I'm not going to try it, obviously, in the house, in here, but... <laughs> Okay, so what I use, I'll only get a glue brush. Oh, I need some paper towels. Let's see, let's get a small one here. Okay. So these are the only, my glue brushes are the only ones I keep in water. Now this is a fairly new one that I stuck in there because it was crusted over. So it turned, it ended up being a glue brush now. Um, so what I use for gluing my collage down, I just got a palette here to throw it in, is Golden Matte Medium. And I put it in a dishwasher, I mean not dishwasher, dish soap bottle. You know, put it in a dish soap bottle so that you can, uh, squeeze out whatever you want right like that it just makes it handy to use but it's golden matte medium that's all i use no i don't use mod podge i don't use so you know don't ask me if i've used it I, i'm not using any of that that's just my this is my favorite glue collage glue i know that was a deal right terry so yeah i think it was right i think it was 13 and I got it for five and change, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to need a piece of wax paper so that I don't get glue all over my table. And eventually I'll need some baby wipes too. All right, so let me just pick my cards up and put them on the wax paper here. Now I think I'm zoomed in pretty good. I usually hold up the cards as I'm doing any painting. So it's not like you can't see details, but yeah. Oh. Does it all stitch? It sticks with matte. Yes, it sticks with matte medium. Yeah, if you, yeah, it's a glue. I'm using it for a glue. Mm -hmm. All right, so because I've already got a lot of the background already done because we're using cut up journal pages, that um so half the work was already done for us as far as backgrounds and stuff like that okay so what i'm going to do and whenever you glue and anytime you glue collage bits down unless it's a napkin a napkin you can't glue the back turn over and glue down right because obviously a napkin's going to tear but anytime you have you know magazine collage bits put some glue on the back and on your piece and over the top Okay, you need to do all three if you want it to lie flat. All right, so I've only got a few little bits here for this one. And then I'll take a card. Do I have a card handy? Let's see what I have one sitting here. And I'm just taking, you know, any kind of a card, and, and then you can smash it down lightly. Okay, all right, so let's glue this little bird. And I like to, now y'all know when I'm doing, when I'm doing an all over card, uh, when I'm gluing uh, a full card full of collage bits, I put matte medium all over the whole thing. Now a couple things, I'm, I've cut these out, of, or I've t torn them out of old journal pages. I know some of that's Dilution's paint, which will move. So I, I still want to put the matte medium over the whole card. But I'm going to be conscious, conscious, conscience of the fact that some of that might move if I'm not careful. But I like matte medium over the whole thing because when I go to add the acrylic paint and blend it all in, you can wipe away. You can wipe away things that have coated with matte medium. So I can move paint around and things that I can't do without it being coated with the matte medium. That's very important. Very important. Bye, Miss Kim. Thanks for coming in. Um, if you want to um, 
move your paint around your acrylic paint and the acrylic paint I use is just Americana craft paint it's just the you know dollar twenty nine and you can get them on sale all the time uh, craft paints that I use on these collages it, it, both in my art journals and on my art cards I use it I just like Americana that you can use whatever kind of craft paint you have I personally just like Americana because of the colors so all right so I'm gonna stop with that one for a second and I'm just gonna set that one aside while we go to the next one this one's only got two little bits to glue on but all this is already collage right this is already a collage uh, background because it I tore it out of the art journals so if you miss the part before this one um, I showed how I cut these out of deconstructed art journals okay and again I'm gonna put a nice coat of matte medium over the whole thing just for the purpose of when I go to put the acrylic paint is it blurry a little blurry okay I'll readjust here in a second guys yeah now don't expect HD quality on you stream just saying all right let's refocus let me get my sherry card for maybe I'll darken it just a little take the glare off okay there we go hope that's better all right let me get some uh, baby wipes to keep my hands as free of matte medium and, that, and matte medium is tough to get off your hands unless you got a craft scrubby <laughs> it's tough okay iffy good luck at the doctor all right so now I'm going to put this little bit right here and again I'm going to go ahead and put a coat over the whole thing and mash it down with the oops gotta be careful don't move it let's move it back And then we're going to paint it all into the background. Better? Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go to this one. So a lot of the paint's already on here for me on these because we started with the cards that were already the backgrounds. And they'll start it. Okay, so I'm just going to keep... Hmm, do I want this one on top? I want it behind. Maybe I want it behind. Yeah. Okay, last one. Okay, these are your favorite colors, turquoise, teal, turquoise or teal and red. Yeah, they're, that's a, it is a good com combination. And a little bit of yellow or yellow ochre in there or orange, that makes it pop too. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of move this off to the side, fold this up so that I have a dry bit here. I'm going to put my glue brush back in the water. Those are the only brushes I keep in water. 
our glue brushes. Oh, let me move these birds out of the way. All righty. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry these real quick. Get them all over here. Let me dry them with the heat gun real quick. Now, I'm going to see if there's anything I need to trim around the edges. There's, I think there's one here that trim. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and start another part for one more hour. One more hour of now, the last hour we're going to paint. Let me move this out of the way. So this took an hour <laughs> to sort the collage, uh, you know, and glue them down. And uh, so let me go ahead and stop this. And I do that for ease so that my I have less problem with them downloading from Ustream, if, for me anyway. And, you know, I, whatever. Okay, so let me, uh, <laughs> let me start another part real quick.